Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today we're diving into all season suites in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of reviews, where we'll uncover the good, the bad, and the I thought I booked a luxury suite, not a shoebox. Let's kick things off with a negative review, the room was clean. But the only thing spacious was my disappointment. It felt like I was in a sardine can. Ouch. But hang on, because another guest chirped, we love the kitchenette. Perfect for midnight snack raids. The location is prime, right by Dollywood and tons of restaurants. Speaking of food, if you stay here, breakfast is included and highly rated. Nothing like pancakes to start your day, just don't expect them to fly out of the kitchen. Now, let's address the Before staff we friendliness. Dive deeper, don't One forget to visit our front desk for their smiles, while another lamented, the link is in the they description like they'd below. rather be at the DMV. Just head over to our site, so, click on the search bar, and enter folks. the name of a company, Let's website, give the staff or hotel you're curious about. Our powerful tool effort. will analyze smiles a wealth of information, plus, including customer reviews, founder credentials, credentials, and consumer reports, now, to generate a trust score for you. Best of all, this service is completely free. With Verify Giant, you'll quickly discover whether a hotel, business, or website is trustworthy, questionable, or potentially a scam. Join the thousands of satisfied users we help every day in avoiding scams and making informed decisions. At approximately $110 a night, it's decent if you're not expecting the Ritz. I'd score it a solid 5 out of 10, good for a budget trip but don't expect luxury. And for the final score tally, let's add it up, location, 8 out of 10, room quality, 5 out of 10, facilities, 6 out of 10, food, 7 out of 10, cleanliness, 8 out of 10, staff, 6 out of 10. That brings us to a total of 40 out of 70. So, is it worth visiting? I'm inclined to say, if you're looking for affordability and don't mind a few quirks, it's a yes. Want a book? Check the link in the description. Your support helps us keep this channel running, and who doesn't want to avoid bad deals?